Michaela. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I went thrifting recently and I found some really amazing things at an estate sale. I am so excited to share it with you. So if you want to see what I got, then we will just get started. So I have a really exciting find that I want to share with you more towards the end because I want to save my favorites for the last. But I'm also going to start with one of my favorites. And it is these copper molds. I got all of these for a dollar a piece. So I got this one with this shape here. I got four of them. And then I got this shape. I also got this one. And last, this one. I love all of these and they have the hooks here so it's easy for me to put them up on my wall. I'm very excited to decorate with those. I had actually been looking for copper molds and they were kind of hidden away in a closet at this estate sale so I feel like people had missed them. So I was really excited to find those for such a great price. At that same estate sale I found this set of three candle holders. They are, they look like silver to me and they have that patina on them. All three of these were $5, and I felt like these would be really pretty to decorate with for Christmas. They just have a Christmas look to them, so, and they're really heavy, which feels like nice quality. Um, there is a mark on the bottom. I don't know if any of you are going to be able to see that or not, but if I'm able to read it, I will put the text up on the screen, so that way, if y'all know anything about it, you can share it with me. I love to learn things from y'all. I don't know a whole lot about um, antiques and stuff, but I'm trying my best to get better at it and learn more things. This was a different estate sale that we went to that I got these candle holders from. They were $4 a piece and they are extremely heavy in quality. Um, this is what the bottom of them looks like. It says made in India and they were originally $18.75 for the pair. Um, and they do look old just from the tag too. You can tell they're kind of old. But this estate sale was very interesting. They had, it was like a cabin style house. So they had a whole bunch of like hunter, th hunting things and fishing things. They had a massive vintage uh, wardrobe. It was beautiful, but it was actually so big. I don't even think I would have been able to get it in my house. It was like a thousand dollars and it was probably worth that, but it was just so beautiful. I wish I could have got a clip of it, but the um, people who were running the still were kind of, uh, you know, they were in that room that we were in, so I didn't want get to get my phone out to film. But anyways, I got those candle holders there. Everything else at that sale was pretty expensive, and I, I don't like to spend a lot for my things when I go shopping. This next estate sale was a very interesting one. It was online, and you would buy things in lots, and I have never done that before. Um, it was a really good experience, so the people that were over the estate sale were extremely nice and friendly when we went to pick up our items. So, um, I'm going to share the things that I bought in each lot. I believe this first lot was $11, and it has just a bunch of copper and brass pieces. So, the first piece is this here. It's very heavy. It has this little handle on the side and then a handle at the top with these cutout designs on it. Um, I don't see any marks on the bottom. It just looks like brass, but I love this so much. I cannot wait to use brass to decorate for Christmas. And then within that same lot, I also got this thing. So it's a really big copper vase. Um, the bottom of it is just from TJ Maxx, so it's not anything <laughs> fancy. Um, it's not old or anything, but it is really pretty, so I'm very excited to use this. And it's really tall, which is nice. Next is another uh, brass piece within that same lot. And this one is different because it has this blue and white handle on it. And it's a lot more patina looking. And then it has these lions on the sides. I guess it's copper, it's not brass. <laughs> the bottom of it says Dutch copperware made in Ireland. So that's really interesting. I will have to look this one up on Google Lens just to see um, if I can find anything out about it. So within that same lot, I also got this tray. I believe it is brass. I do not see any markings on the bottom, but it has this really nice lace design all around the edge and it's nice and heavy. I love trays to put things on or to set up like this as a backdrop for something that you're decorating with. And this one has this really pretty 
flower design on it. I think that's so beautiful. And I feel like $11 for all of these pieces is a really good price. Within that same lot, this is not brass or copper. It is a stone vase or ceramic, but it was still in that lot and it is very pretty. I love the old looking color on it. I don't see any markings and just by looking at it, I actually don't think it's very old, but I do really like this. I cannot wait to put some flowers in it for decorating. And then that is going to be all that I got in that one lot. So now we're moving on to the next lot. And in this one, there were some pieces that I didn't want, but there was something I really wanted in it, which made it worth buying for me. And I believe I paid $5 for the whole lot. But the piece that I really wanted is this one. It's carnival glass. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it so much. It's just a, a dish, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for, but I honestly, from the pictures, I couldn't really tell if it was carnival glass or not, but I had a suspicion. So I was like, I'm gonna take a chance and bid on it because if it's not, you know, $5 is not that bad of a loss. And it was, it's very heavy. And I don't see any markings on the bottom. I don't know a lot about carnival glass. I just know that once I seen it and the beautiful colors that it has when the light reflects it, I just knew I wanted to get it. So I, this was in that lot. And then also within that same one was this glass pitcher. It's not really that special, honestly. It's kind of plain looking. So I might have to do some DIY work to this one to make it look a little more interesting. Um, it also doesn't have any markings on the bottom. Um, it just has like this little texture here. But anyways, that was within that $5 lot. The rest of the stuff I got rid of, it just wasn't worth it. This find I originally picked out for my husband, Tommy. And when I showed them to him, it's these lamps. He was so excited because the bird on these lamps looks like the Hunger Games for Pan Am. So as soon as he seen these, he was like, that looks like Hunger Games, you know, the Pan Am uh, symbol. And I was like, that's so crazy. And they're so cool. They have um, like a handle here, kind of like you're holding, you know, an old style candle. Um, and the cord is definitely old. You can tell by the plug-in. And then it just has this little switch here. I don't see any brand markings on the bottom, but we just thought that was so cool. These were really dirty. so. We had to do some pretty good scrubbing on those to get them, but I got, there's a set of two. I got both of them for a little bit over $11, which I thought was a really good price for some vintage lamps that look like they could be from the Hunger Games. The rest of these pieces here that I'm gonna show you are not some that I got some, that I got from an estate sale myself. They are from a very, very sweet friend of mine named Dusty. She has a YouTube channel on here called My Thrifted Home. I will put it in the description box. And you know what? She, I just, I could not wait to tell you guys because she is just such a sweet person. So she shared this recently in an estate sale haul and it says Betty's Kitchen on here. And my granny, her name was Betty. I was very close to her. She's the one who kind of started my love of antiques and thrifting and crafting all of those things. And so I told Dusty in the comments of her video, I said, I love that plaque. I said, my granny's name was Betty. She loved to cook. She loved to bake for people. That was just her thing. These holiday times was just her time of year. She loved making stuff for people. And so I told her, I was like, if you ever get rid of that, please let me know. And you know what she did? She messaged me on Instagram and she said, I'm going to send you that plaque. How? She, that's so, so sweet. I just, I could not believe it. And I was so excited because every time I look at this, I just think of my granny. And uh, unfortunately, she passed away a couple of years ago. And it's kind of hard not to cry about it because, you know, she's my granny. I was really close to her. But um, Dusty, she took it even further as if just sending me that wasn't enough. She also sent me some other things because she watches my videos too. And she knows the kind of stuff I'm into. So she sent me this really beautiful glass pumpkin and it has like this twist design here up at the top. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. And she totally surprised me with this. I had no idea she was going to send me the other stuff, but I went and got this box from the post office and I was just like, oh my goodness. I was so excited. And then she sent me this duck planter. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, I'm going to have to put an ivy in here or maybe a succulent. 
This will look so pretty in my house and I can even find a way to decorate him up for Christmas, I think. But I just love that so much. And then she also sent me this. So I believe this is a lace curtain or a runner, I'm not sure. But I think you could use it probably both ways. And I just, oh, isn't that gorgeous? I love it so much. Thank you so much, Dusty. That was so sweet of you to send me those things. And I will forever cherish this plaque from you. Thank you, thank you so much. Also too, I wanted to take this time to say thank you so much to all of you that subscribe to my videos, all of you that like, and all of you that comment. I get so excited when I see your comments. I love to hear from you. I love to learn from you. And just for you to talk about the things in your life and the, you know, maybe some items that I find are some stuff that you have or that you're into. I love when I get those comments. And I just want to say thank you to all of you that take the time out of your day to watch my videos and support my channel. It means everything. Okay, y'all, so that is all that I have for today. I really hope that you're having a wonderful day or night. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!